So the last one we're going to do for the day. And I'm going to be on uh, Indisputable with Rashad Ritchie at 2.30 Eastern Time. So I'm going to have to get ready for that in a minute. Chris Christie says Donald Trump can't win a general election. Oh, let me share it. My bad. I forgot to share it. Chris Christie says Donald Trump can't win a general election and GOP is finally recognizing harm of loser candidates after 2022. I mean, the simple answer to this, you know what I'm saying? That, that Yo, Galvatron, I, I, no, you're right, 100%. I literally said that in my video for Rebel HQ this morning that apparently the audio and video were out of sync and can't be used. But um, I literally said that, like, George Santos probably don't even need glasses for real. You know what I'm saying? Like he. But yes, Chris Christie is 100 percent true. But I mean, again, like really the crux of this. Is just that he doesn't have independence. It, it, it's it's really not more complicated than that. Donald Trump doesn't have independence, therefore he can't win. And we can go into why that is. Um, you know, he's already served a term. People know what he's about. The Republican Party, even though they may not say it out loud as a whole, are ready to move on from him. But they don't know which direction to go necessarily. But Donald Trump, even if he won the Republican primary, which he likely will, um, he can't win a general election. Joe Biden could run. Joe Biden could do what he did in 2020 and like stay in his house and not do nothing. And he would still win. And as far as it's looking, it's going to be Joe Biden up. I mean, why, why would he why would Joe Biden not run again unless he just decides to drop out? He's going to run again like most presidents do. OK, Chris Christie predicted that he won't be successful. So what he said, I've said over and over again that he can't win a general election. Christie said Sunday. That's not speculation. That's based upon the polling that I was privy to pre the 2020 election and what we saw actually happen in the 2020 election. And it's only gotten worse since then. Facts. Then add to it what you saw happen in 2022. The election deniers losing across the country. Bad candidates like Doug Mastriano and Pennsylvania dragging the entire Pennsylvania ticket down in a historic way. Kerry Lake, Blake Masters, Tim Mitchells, Christie said. We could go through the entire list. Loser, 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 loser. And I think Republicans are recognizing that 100%. Never going to be president of the United States again. Well, I've <laughs> said I've said over and over again that he can't win a general election, and 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 that's not speculation. That's based upon the polling that I was privy to pre the 2020 election, uh, and what we saw actually happen in the 2020 election, and it's only gotten worse since then. Then add to it what you saw happen in 2022, the election deniers losing across the country, bad candidates like Mastriano in Pennsylvania dragging the entire Pennsylvania ticket down. <laughs> In a historic way, Carrie Lake, Blake Masters, Tim Michaels, <coughs> Tudor Jones, we could go through the entire list. Loser, 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 loser. And I think Republicans <coughs> are recognizing that. Yeah. A hundred percent. I mean, it's 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 really it's really not more complicated than that. He just doesn't have the votes. Um and the only other person really who could go the distance in the Republican Party at the moment that, that that I can think of is Ron DeSantis. But the problem with Ron DeSantis is we have yet to see if he's really going to run an effective campaign, which we don't know. You know, um, and Donald Trump has a lot less to lose than Ron DeSantis. Uh, Ron DeSantis has a future in politics ahead of him. Uh, where Trump, not necessarily. Trump's been in office already. Ron DeSantis is like 30 something years younger than Donald Trump. Um, but again, we don't know what type of campaign he's actually going to put forth. And so, you know, it's it's pretty much looking like Joe Biden's going to win again in 2024. Um, uh, but obviously, it's still early and we, we have to see what's popping. 